Hey guys, it's Dee here from Dee's Divine Guidance with the sign of Taurus for July of 2019. Wow, your cards are just kind of flying out. Ooh, nice. All right, let's see what we have for you. Um, if you haven't already, you can follow me over in Facebook and you can check out the monthly readings, which also have the energy healing. These are just going to be messages from spirit to give you kind of how you got to close out the rest of the month. <clears throat> wow, guys. All right, so and I will be pulling some vampire cards for you. All right, so overall energy is the high priestess. Yes, yes. I feel like a lot of you are becoming more connected with the divine. You're really kind of, um, this could definitely be spiritual awakening. So again, these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, but definitely spiritual awakenings for some of you. Just opening your eyes. And the energy they're making me feel here is that like I'm hearing full circle. Like I feel like you've come full circle. So if that means like for some of you, like, you know, you finally realized a lot and like have been really like your life has been evolving. Like you've been stepping into the next version of yourself, which I freaking love for you guys. I love for that. It's like you've, you've let go of pain. You've let go of hurt. Um, you've got the higher font here with the 10 of pentacles with the judgment card and the king of cups. So I'm getting for some of you that you could be potentially getting married, um, or getting engaged here with the higher font and the 10 of pentacles. But for others of you, like, I just feel as though this is you just increasing your energy. You're fully committed to getting the life that you want. You're fully committed to letting go of things that no longer are on the path to the life that you want with that judgment. You're letting go of judgment of others instead of saying, oh, you should do this. You should do this. This is the way you should be. So this is what I'm talking about. Like if you have a significant other, a partner or whatever, like instead of judging them all the time, you're either going to let them go or they're going to come with you. But most of you are going to let them go because you realize that they're weighing you down and that it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's a thing. Right? You got to let go what no longer serves you in order to get to where you want to be. And where you want to be is this King of Cups and that Ten of Pentacles, your happy life, your good energy. I feel like so many of you have been shit on, right? And I feel like you have been carrying the pain of that, carrying it with you for so long. And now you're finally releasing it. You're finally deciding that you're number one and that the pain that you're holding on to has caused you so much more pain and that that's your doing, right? That you're the only one hurting yourself now because the person that did that is long gone, right? Or doesn't care. So you're the only one hurting yourself and I feel like you're finally realizing that and you're moving towards what you really want and realizing that it might take some, you know, time, but it's what you want and it's worth it. It's worth the fight. It's worth letting go. It's worth all of that. It's worth letting go of people that no longer fit your life vision. And that's where you're at right now. And I love that for you. So let me pull a vampire card here. Let's see what other messages we have. Here we go. Okay. So we've got transgression and it says flaws, contradictions, and mistake. So I'm going to read this because like I said, this is Lucy Cavendish um, and I love how she writes in here. So let's see what it says for you. Okay. It says there are many, many in this world, vampire and human, fairy and otherworldly creature who seem to delight in the faults of others, using them as a way of proving their own worth. See, they point out, you are worse than I. And could there be any worse than this killing of a secret animal, the unicorn, now mourned so deeply by this little vampire? This is false glory and disturbing to all of us who live long lives to see so many worry that they have sinned and hurt others and cannot be forgiven and to see others glory in the guilt they use to manipulate and feel righteous. The most perf perfected souls upon this planet have all created moments in their lives where they have gone against their own values and their own hearts and their own souls and transgressed. They have hurt themselves 
and they have hurt others. And so when you see this card and wonder what it is you have done wrong, know it is this. It is incorrect of you to assume that your faults and flaws, your poor decisions, and yes, the mistakes you have made are more ghastly than any other. There is not one amongst any of us who has not done wrong. And it is good that we vampires and you humans can feel remorse and take steps to correct ourselves and do better. But what we witness from here is that you are being told again and again by either an abusive other or your own abusive part of yourself that you are guilty, wrong, and can never be forgiven. You must now take steps to correct what can be corrected. Apologize clearly and once if this is the right thing for you to do and then forgive your own self. To continually internally erode your own value due to another's encouragement is a false kind of virtue. There is no good in hurting yourself over and over to prove how sorry you are. Live better, do better, but let the self-punishment go and do not allow another to utilize your compassionate remorse for their own ends. Yes, they are. We are all human and other world creature going to transgress against the natural laws and the laws of our own souls. What we do about it is what matters. Go on now and make amends. Then give thanks for the gift of self-forgiveness. The blessing of this card is when we go against our integrity, our soul will, will let us know. And if we continue to deny that inner voice, the universe will show us where we are going wrong. The curse of this card is crowding out inner voice, continuing down a path that we know is against the truth of our soul, breaking universal laws. Working with this card is make amends. Take stock, assess, and redirect, and come back into harmony with the voice of your soul. Let the judgment go. Let the judgment go. Let the guilt go. There's no reason to feel guilt. You're human, right? You're human. You are connected to the divine, but you're still human. There's no reason to feel guilt feel guilt. Realize what you've learned from the situation and move forward and forgive yourself for not knowing at the time when you did these things. Okay. Forgive yourself for making wrong decisions that are not on your life path, not in your life vision and let go and let go. Connect to the divine. It's here. She's waiting for you. She wants you. She's been waiting. It's time. It's time here. Let go of all of it and, and, and realize that you are number one here and that it's all about you and focus on you and don't focus on anybody else except yourself for right now and get that vibration and forgive yourself. Let the judgment go. Let the guilt go. Work on you for right now. Do not worry about anybody else. All right. Much love. Let me know in the comments how that resonates with you guys. Um, if you like the vampire cards and also, um, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more of my videos. Okay. Much love to all of you and have a wonderful day. Bye.